the death of Iris Martin Altus and the trauma and profound sense of loss that his family must now endure is almost beyond belief and I would like to extend my deep sympathy to his family at this time. As a mother it must be absolutely shocking to find that your child has fallen out of a window and that he is seriously injured. But I can only imagine that the initial shock must then be magnified many times over by the realisation that no ambulance is available to take your child to hospital. Despite the HSC's line on this, the fact remains that when an ambulance was requested, the caller was informed none was available and no ambulance arrived to take little Vicaris to hospital. Unfortunately, the unreliable nature of the emergency services in my constituency of East Cork is now having profound consequences for children and adults who have serious injuries or illness. Only six weeks ago, another child, James Casey Butler, needed emergency care. And again, the circumstances surrounding this particular incident are causing concern in the area. Questions about the failures and inadequacies of the emergency services in East Cork are not new. I have repeatedly raised the issue in the House, as has my colleague Deputy O'Quailon. The situation has now reached a crisis point and, simply put, lives are now at risk as a result. In March of this year, Minister Riley gave an undertaking that response times would improve as a result of more effective rostering and improved training. However, the recent incidents prove that this is simply not the case. The people of Middleton are entitled to better. They deserve to know if they or their children have an accident or become ill that an ambulance is available to take them to hospital. Not just in Cork East, but right across the country, people are entitled to an emergency service that is both reliable and dependable. I would therefore call on the Minister to conduct, as a matter of urgency, a review of how the restructuring or reconfiguration of the ambulance and emergency services actually works for people and communities. The evidence to date would suggest that there are serious problems with the service and that people are suffering or dying as a result.